What's up guys? It's uh, Mitsa. No, that did not work. What's up guys? So, chips. Okay, so, I got a little bike. Uh, let's see. For $4 at Goodwill. I'm looking at the bike on the screen here. Not the camera. Um, yeah, so there, there's the $4 bike. There. There's my chainsaw. Got the thingy off of it, the blade. There we go. Okay. And so right now I'm going to take apart the bike. Get off the sprockets. See if I can weld them on to the chainsaw. And... Yeah, so here we go guys. So I got my giant 18 inch rigid forged in the USA uh, Spanner wrench So because I couldn't get this thing off so we're gonna kind of Figure it out. I got clamped to my vise in here Coming off, you guys. Probably tighten it even, tightening it even more. Oh man, I don't even know if you can see this. This wrench is ah. There we. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Looks good for me. Yes? Nope. I'm probably doing something wrong here. Oh, shoot. You know what I gotta do first? I gotta see if this is even... Oh, it's steel. Right here. Don't know if you can see that, because I can't see my screen. Um, yeah, it's the whole frame is steel. That means I can weld on it. Put that back on the chainsaw. Let's continue. Come on. I'm gonna get out my. Uh oh. I'm gonna get out this thingy, my bobber. Should make quicker work of this, right? I feel like this should be more loosened at this point than it actually is. Not sure if it's loosening up. Am I tightening it? No, I'm definitely loosening it. I don't think this fits with this bike. Oh, it spins the opposite way, you guys. Righty Lucy. 
Huh. Of course it doesn't open. Yeah. How do you get these guys off? What? Okay, I'm gonna, uh, this is actually four minutes, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, four minutes. Okay, I had to make sure that was recording right. So I'm gonna go and uh, look up how to take this off. Cause it's obviously not working. <sighs> oh boy, I can tell you, that thing works, that, woo. Uh, <clears throat> actually, that didn't work. Nope. I can't edit that out though. <sighs> it rides. You know, I'd almost rather ride that bike than an actual chainsaw bike. Like, almost. R I got you. I'd almost rather <laughs> ride that little thingy and said oh man that was tiring okay I'll stop I gotta take it apart now sadly after I figure it out because I wanted to take it on a ride and then people were looking at me funnily but I'm not stupid I don't think I am I actually probably am Okay guys, so I'm gonna apologize in advance here, but um, I've kind of skipped a lot of steps. Like one, taking apart the bike, I don't think I showed that. Um, another thing is I just finished, let me see if I can do this. There we go, welding the bike sprocket onto the clutch. Um, Oh, still very hot from welding. That was very tricky because I didn't know how to space it on there. I didn't know how I was gonna actually even like get it on there. And so this is the fourth attempt. The first attempt is super crooked and it accidentally attached to the actual like drive shaft, I guess you would call it. And so it was crooked and it didn't really, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. And then my second attempt, um, I had to take up all the weld and everything. And then I did little tiny welds and they just completely fell apart. Same with the third time. And now the fourth time, I did little tiny welds. It held together enough. And so I measured it and I made sure it was all almost perfectly centered. And then I just welded it. I didn't weld the crap out of it. I just put kind of more like a little bit more than spot welds, but like, oh, I got a notification. Um, yeah, so like a little bit more than spot weld, but yeah, so um, I guess I'll show you what I've done to the bike and that sort of stuff. So right here's the bike. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw this already. Oops. Um, oh, come on, camera. Okay, well, I can't easily do this one-handed. Come on. Just get on there. Okay, let's just say that chain's on. So the chain only goes to about here, right? So for the chainsaw, it's gonna need to be going a lot farther. So, I found this bike at Home Depot. It was in the lot, actually. And surprisingly enough, it has brakes, which I could possibly use for the throttle or for brakes on this bike, which is exciting. But, um, I don't know if I can get these brakes to work. The chain, I'm gonna take off pretty soon here. And I'm just gonna figure out everything and make sure it's all working. Or wait, no. Why did I say that? I'm gonna enlarge this chain over here, just big enough with this, so that I can fit the chainsaw on. And then all I gotta do is 
put the chainsaw on the bike permanently, add maybe a new muffler to make it look cool, and there's my mini chainsaw bike. So, oh, if I have another update, if I'm building something, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh yeah, guys. So originally I was gonna mount it here, but then I looked at it and I was like, wait, I can just mount it here. And so now I just wasted all this time creating this long chain for the thing over there when it's much easier just to put it here. So what I did is I just loaded a crap ton of weld there. That's probably gonna come off. Because as you can see, it's, uh, sorry. Oh, right there where the edge of my pinky is. It's not very well bonded. There we go. But here it's a lot better. I'm kind of sad my welder ran out because I was just going to fill that whole entire gap right there with uh, weld or with steel or whatever. Because, yeah, but then another problem is the bike seat is going to be hitting the actual chainsaw. I could not get around this problem with it sitting there or here. So I just decided this is fine and I can just jerry rig something up um the sprockets oh shoot did i not do that right no the sprockets i think are pretty well aligned they're a little bit off but these chains have a little bit of flex another good thing about this bike is i can make i can take out the links to make this as close as possible to this length here and then I can tighten it up by moving this backwards it's not going to tighten it up much but it's definitely going to tighten it up but I want to put some weld on there first to make it more solid because I don't I don't think it's on there good enough it holds it but you know I don't think it's good enough and also I like this gap here come on nope yeah, there's a gap here, about two fingers, a little bit less than two fingers. Um, I like that gap there. I made that on purpose. Um, I could, I less would have caused more room for this, but um, I figured with this gap, I can also rotate this a little. See, it's only bolted on one thing here. Oh, that's hot. Bike's not hot, but it's out. Huh. But I can rotate this a little so that the whole chainsaw can move this this whole way. And then I can, you know, figure that out. And then that shouldn't change any fact to this sprocket here, which is also on there almost perfectly. I wish it was on there perfect, but there's nothing I can do about that now. So yeah, I'm going to probably put pedals on the front. They're not pedals, but like something on the front so that my feet can sit on there. And I'm just going to finish this all up. I'm actually going to test it real quick before I do anything. Else. Oh yeah, you guys. So I got it back on. Crappily welded this, but I used a sh crap load of weld. I had to go to the store and buy a whole new world because my last one ran out. And then on this side, I secured it with a piece of, sorry, that's crooked, a uh, piece of aluminum that I found in a parking lot. It's on there pretty dang solid. Now this one isn't welded, which is still fine because I used the pipe clamp and these are strong as welds, I assume. And I just have it welded into the base of this. Now this whole thing ain't, ain't moving anywhere, hopefully. Uh, the last thing I need to do for this is create a throttle, or last two things, and add a, a chain here. I've got part of one here, uh, another part of one here, part of one up there.
Well guys, I don't have any other clips. I don't know what I just put on this video, but I don't have any more clips of it. So, and I'm still working on it. It's been like four or five months on this damn thing, but I can't really fix that much more of it. Um, the clutch is slipping. And the last four clips, they're all probably like five seconds, probably like between five seconds and 20 seconds long. Those last clips, um, what am I trying to say? Between those last clips, I welded the actual drive shaft to the wheel, which was a bad idea. Right now it's fixed and I'm working on the clutch. I don't know if I need to buy a new one. My uncle suggested I get like a belt driven or make a belt driven, which I might think of doing, but I really like this project, although it's taking way too fucking long. I'm, I'm, you know, it's fun. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video of what it was, 15 minutes or whatever. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, that would help me a lot, I guess, because I am not monetized yet. And I want to get money for doing this, because I don't have, well, I have my job at Home Depot. But I only work weekends, so I only get like, like, like not even $150 a, a week. And I'm going to spend that, I'm getting a new sound system for my car, I hope. And I'll show you guys how I install that, I hope. And, yeah, so, please comment, or, well, you don't have to comment or like. But please subscribe, that would help me a lot. Right now, you can comment, you can like. Uh, tell me something that I'm doing wrong so I can fix it. Tell me something like that. That would be greatly appreciated. Why do I keep looking at the screen? Stop. Um, yeah, so. Have a good day, one person who's going to view this. Bye.